Let's try becoming the piglets. Let's ruin the wolf's business. Let's go piglets. It feels like the piglets didn't do anything. And yet the piglets won. The three little pigs dissatisfied. Oh, this is the same, right? So we are going to ruin the wolf's restaurant. Alright, wolf. Oh, it's it's my turn. Let us go to the witch's hut and let's put a hex on the wolf while no longer wicked per se the witch still gets a kick out of magical pranks like hexes and your gold is well gold be careful though magic is capricious and can backfire the wolf's bite lose one quality and the wolf lose one reputation but the pigs lose one wealth one of the witch's particular speci uh, specialties is a clumsiness curse she invented herself. If you can convince her to put the curse on the servers at the wolf's bite, customers will be having soup in their laps in no time. However, the witch requires a special ingredient, a red mushroom from the Whispering Woods. You've already gone to the trouble to find the mushroom patch, but you are having trouble figuring out which red mushroom she needs. If only she were more specific! Uh... So there is a red mushroom with spots. Another one is shiny. Another one is lumpy. However, if you can see, it says grab the spotted one, present the shiny one, snatch the lumpy one. And then we are the uh, bad piggies right now. Grabbing... It sounds like, you know, like I just, I just grabbed it. Present it, it's just like, here you go, madame. So I think shiny one is definitely not it. Snatching is like, kind of like stealing. Like you go like, kachang! It's mine! So I'm thinking maybe snatch. I think I want to snatch the lumpy, lumpy one. Because if it's like a curse, it gotta be like bad stuff. I vote Lumpy. Let's go Lumpy. The pigs were drawn irresistibly to an old Lumpy fungus that did not even look like a mushroom. The smell was so intoxicating, the pigs actually got into a fight over who was going to pick it. Eventually, push comes to shove and hooves start flying. The pigs end up trampling the mushroom patch, completely ruining this year's exotic mushroom harvest for the entire village. Pig lose one reputation. What? No! Oh. Wolf is going to deliver food to the elderly. Bringing good food to good people who cannot get it themselves is just good, good, blah, 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 good business. Philanthropy strengthens your standing in the community and will ultimately draw in more business. This makes sense and sense. The wolf gains one reputation, and the wolf's bite gains one quality. Your nephew Sean and Sean... <laughs> Sean and Sean are starting a real estate consulting business and are looking to you for help getting started. Well, as an entrepreneur myself, I certainly can't say no. The promise of the business is to learn what the homeowner is into and then make them into a house a manufacturing manifestation of that possession passion okay uncle wolfie you tell us what you're most passionate about and we'll transform your house no charge oh art interest in art you tell your cousins your passion is art and they go to work your home is transformed into a blend of modern and renaissance art on the eastern half of the house uh armor Armorfo, armorfos, armorfos, shapes wrought, wrought from iron and glass. On the western side, a massive fresco entitled, entitled The Creation of Wolfie. While you enjoy the mix of new and old, your neighbors hate it and think it's ugly. Oh my god! The wolf loses three reputations for having an ugly house! What? That's so mean. Amorphous. Amorphous. Ah. Oh my goodness. 
move lost so much reputation. Mm, let's go. Uh, I think we did, or the the before CPU did the train and restaurant operation with a Giuseppe a baby Knox. You spend the week. You spend the week getting a deeper understanding of how restaurants operates and the business side of things. Gusipi has no idea how helpful this will be as you search for weaknesses in the wolf's meal business. The wolves bite lose one quality. The pigs, eager to increase their standing in the saboteur community, decides to get some extra credit to impress Sh Shemus next time they take his class. Executing a food swap on an uns Suspecting Elbait challenge mark seems like the right track. Who should the pig sabotage? The wolf at home or the wolf at work? Or Shemus make menu? Menus? Oh, this is hard. I have no idea. Not at home. I don't think... At home doesn't really... I don't think it would target the wolf that much. But if we target the wolf at work, that would ruin the business. But why is it that we want to target Shemus McManus though? Why, why, why is it that we want that? I don't know. Let's go the wolf at work. The wolf at work. Executing the sabotage at the wolf's bite would not only give you some extra credit but also some practice in sabotaging on site during meal service. You decide to swap all the Italian sausage with kielbasa, changing the ethnic organ origin of the evening's menu. Fortunately for the wolf, tonight's guests are the Kuoloskinitsky Polka Orchestra. What the hell? Orchestra? That's not a name. Excuse me, you cannot say, oh, my name, my last name is Orchestra. Also, what is this freaking first name? The unplanned Polish Italian mashup was a huge hit. What the? The wolves gain one quality. No. No. Is the wolf gonna DJ? Where are you going, wolf? Wolf's gonna cater. Oh, it's an orchestra. I thought they were saying it as an orchestra. My bad. Papa Wolf once said, Don't make any big decision on empty stomach. And nobody makes bigger decisions than the politicians at the city hall. Some delicious pastries with your logo... Uh, prominently di displayed on the wrapper should help the city council perform at the top of their game while getting your name in front of the city's movers and shakers. The wolf's bite game one quality. Like the responsible business owner you are, you decide to make a free accounting class offered by the city's tax office. They offer two exciting ten Tentalizing courses, the joy of tax deductions, and the modern art of bookkeeping. With such thrilling options, how are you ever to choose? Which fascinating course do you want to take? He's gonna take the modern art of bookkeeping. So exciting, the word seems to jump from the page. You've gained a fascinating new hobby and your skills. New skill will keep your fonts neat and organized. The wolfers for wealth? And the wolves back in two quality? Oh my god. How do we do it? Let's... Let's be the guest and then we'll just... We'll just throw everything. You spend the day eating at the restaurant, being a, as much nuisance as possible. You order things that are not on the menu, send back every order at least one, intentionally spill drinks, and disturb the other guests' meals. You are the only ones in the restaurant by the end of the night. The wolf's bite loses one quality. Apparently, the wolf's bite has a food license and liquor license, but not a dancing license. <laughs> this could be a fun way to take the wolves down for a few pigs. Just need the right tune. Sweet Rapunzel, save a steed, ride a lancer, 
Hey, indeed. Oh my god, I have no idea what they're referencing. I, I use, I use viewer chance. What would the wolf dance to? Sweet Rapunzel. Rapunzel does not have the wolf though, right? Save a steed, ride a lancer. Ryan said, save a steed, ride a lancer. Trotting up and down fairway, the maidens never looked so lovely from my trusty charger prancer they exalt. <laughs> Save a steed, ride a lancer! I have no idea how the song goes. Unfortunately, a few yeehaws and some nodding heads was all this one could get out of the restaurant crowd. What the heck, Ryan? The wolf's bite gains one quality! No! Oh my god. As a pick, I'm failing real hard. Their reputation is bad. What? Man, the DJ booth. Hey, yo! This is your boy, big boy, big bad wolfie on the ones and the twos. And I'm making you move in the groove. We're gonna have a dance off and the ladies drink for free. Don't forget to go to the wolf's bite for your late night craving after your shake your tail feathers. The wolf's gains around the reputation and the... Wolf bite gains one quality. Queen B heard you were DJing and wanted to check you out. Hey honey, if you do a good job and have a good time, I'll hook you up with some of my B sugar. I'm talking uncut honeycomb baby. And if you do a really good job, I'll even toss in some of my royal jelly. But I don't think you're ready. These are rare ingredients it would open up a multitude of exclusive high margin dishes you have to deliver which song were you gonna choose? Group dance focus teach me how to buzzy. Oh teach me how to doogie, right? That's the song. Or karaoke focus play Do You Really Want to Sting Me? I don't know what that was. Dance focus play back that sting up. See I don't know that one either. They be like, Queen, can you teach me how to buzzy? You know why? Cause all the workers love me. Group dance songs are good because everyone can do them. Group dance songs that you, your client excels at are even better because they become the center of attention. Oh, Wolfie baby, that was the most fun I've ever heard in my entire reign. You can DJ my beehive anytime, sugar. Here's your reward. Call me some time. Oh my god. The wolf gains warm reputation and the wolf bites gains three quality. Mm, we gotta destroy. He's doing too well. Maybe we can go offer in store cooking classes so people won't eat at their restaurant. Oh my god! Red Riding Hood! The lead cause of visiting restaurant is hunger. And cure for hunger is cooking. By teaching people the joy of cooking, you can constructively harm the wolf's bite under the cover for of doing good. The wolf's bite lose one quality. The wolf's primary supplier is on vacation, meaning the wolf has to use the grocery store in order to keep his pantry stocked. This creates a weakness we can exploit while in innocently stocking up for ourselves. If we buy out one or more key ingredients, the wolf will be left in the launch lurch. Which one should be most effective? I don't think the meat, because the meat you can just make like vegetarian. The herb, I think the salt got to hurt, right? Because what, how can you, how can you get the food to be just right spiced without the salt? Let's buy out the salt, let's go PJ salt! No chefs in the world is skilled enough to hide a lack of salt. It is cheap enough to buy out and integral to uh, virtually every single dish. 
The only salt in the restaurant this week is going to be wolf's tears. Haha! <laughs> the wolf's bite loses, loses one quality, the loof loses one wealth, and the pigs lose one wealth. It was only one... The wolf is gonna go shopping for the ingredients. You can't run a restaurant without things to cook. A trip to the store provides you with all of the ingredients you will need to cook up enough food to feed an army. You even manage to negotiate a discount. The wolf's bite gains one quality. Strengthening the connection between your brand and the food is one of the most important things you can do as a restauranteur. Since you can't literally replace every meal at home with a meal at the restaurant, the best thing is to make sure those home-cooked meals have your name on them. How do you want to get on the shelves and into the cart? Wolfio's breakfast cereal. Since your restaurant specializes in dinner, getting the customers at breakfast strengthens your brand without cannibalizing your core business. Unfortunately, this is also high competitive space and you have to sell at a loss to keep product moving. The wolf gains one reputation but loses one wealth. Hmm. Let's see. We gotta... Bet's a uh, vandalized building. Kick it with the West Side Porkers gang. Mm. Break into Wolf's house. Let's see. Maybe we can work. Let's work in the restaurant. Let's drop their reputation and quality. You spend a day working in the restaurant trying to bring it down from within. The new hiring manager was thrilled she was able to fill three open spots so quickly. From messing up orders to dropping trays of food on patrons you ensured each customer's first visit to the wolf's bite was also their last. The poor hiring manager had no idea what she was getting into. The wolf's bite loses one quality. The wolf invited little boo... little bow? Little bow peep to the restaurant's VIP section in an effort to cheer up her cheer her up after lost her sheep and hopefully generate some goodwill among the villagers. This transparent pen, uh, pandering attempt cannot go on sabotage. Let's go lamb in the stew. Mm, maybe it's hard to notice. French wreck of lamb. That would be really easy to notice. Wool napkin. That's not... Wool is not particularly... Like, you have to kill the lamb to get the wool. That is not the case. So it's either lamb in the stew, but then in the stew, you might actually just miss it. Because it's stew. Bowl of stew. But then, French rack of lamb? It's hard to get missed, I think. <laughs> which one... Which one is the most sabotage? Or the savage? The king of... Savage, savage, lend me your power. Lend me your power. Rack? No, not napkins. Let's go. Let's go, rack. Rack the rack. <laughs> I ordered a salmon and got a rack of lamb. It reminds me of my sheep that I lost and could not find. Oh my god, are these from my sheep? <laughs> The commotion of her tantrum not only cost the wolf his goodwill, but also made a few patrons leave before being seated. The wolf lose one reputation and one wealth. Yes. Oh, the wolf is gonna go to the lobby. Oh my god! <laughs> Nayers, there's a freaking yarn ball as well. That's so cute. Why is it? Why is it so unhappy? Small business, businesses like the Wolf's Bite are also the backbone of any thriving community and its economy. You spend a week using your charm and political savvy networking with city council mem members and the mayor himself. You may not impact registrations, but it might snag you a few more catering gigs. The wolf gains one reputation and the wolf spike gains one quality. 
To your dismay, the mayor has declared this week to be no fat week. He encourages all local restaurants to eliminate fat from their menu for the week. And in exchange, he will give extra promotion to those who participate. Though he is enthusiastic, it seems the citizens are less than thrilled about the entire week of fat-free fare. Are you up for the challenge? Stick to the fat. Rather than eliminating the fat, you decide to offer uh, decadent ultra-fatty dishes to give the public a port in the storm of health food. Though the mayor is unimpressed, your patrons are grateful for the tasty bites. They barely even notice the several pounds they gain because of you. The wolf gains 4 wealth and the wolf bites gets 1 quality and everyone else gains a few pounds. <laughs> What? Oh my god. Wolf is so freaking rich. The AI is too good. Uh... Mm -hmm. We also like studied. Training food sabotage. Mm... Should we volunteer? Maybe we'll volunteer. I don't know, lobby? I don't know how to sabotage. Maybe we'll, we'll, I don't know. What should we do? What should we do? I'm stuck. Lobby? I don't think pigs, like they, their goal is to ruin the wolf's business, right? So I don't think the money really matters. Lobby? Let's go lobby. <laughs> you know what the city needs? More regulations, especially in the food industry. When was the last time restaurants were inspected for the cleanliness? When was the last time they were audited? They also don't pay enough taxes. Look at the low look at the roads. Clearly more tax revenue is needed. The restaurants benefit from roads, they should pay more to maintain them. The wolf lose one wealth. As you wander outside the courthouse, dreaming up your latest prank, a woman with dazzling- Oh! Oh, it's the law office at your service. Oh, I hear you have a problem with the new restaurant in the town. I also hear his food is served rather hot. With your help, with my help, you can, you can sue that pesky wolf for endangerment and maybe even win a tidy sum. For a small fee, of course. So what should we sue him for? Before, we sued him for uncompetitive business practice, and it didn't hurt me. Uh, sue for public endang endangerment? I don't know. Um, the last time Piggy AI chose sue, f sue for uncompetitive business practices. But I don't... But we knew it wasn't that amazing. Let's go public endanger endangerment and see, see, uh, you know, what what options it will bring out. Miss Red filed a lawsuit on her official letterhead and say uh, served it to the wolf. It seemed like the wolf settlement agreement arrived before the cour courier was even dispatched. The wolf agreed to set up a burnt, a burnt tongue trust fund in honor of crispy bacon to protect future victims from medical costs. The pigs lost, lose one wealth in legal fees, and the wolf lose two wealth funding the trust. So we lost one, but then wolf lost two. So he gotta, you gotta make some mistakes, wolf. You're do, you're. You're too good. Have your fortune told. Told. <gasps> oh my god! It's a freaking cute sloth. What? The witch offers fortune telling service at no charge. Be careful though. Her predicament or uh, predictions are binding and with no cost, non-refundable. Pause crossed. The room went dark. A chill filled the air. Suddenly, an otherworldly 
voice that was everywhere and nowhere at the same time and said, When you face south, you can still move north. Okay. Motivated by the paradox, the wolf redecorates along the north-south ley, ley lines. The wolf bites gains one quality. Late, lastly, or lately, your pasta has had the strange and unpleasant aftertaste of a wet toad. Flabbergasted, you decide you decide to ask the witch for her assistance. Toad's breath. She growls with narrowed eyes. Someone's been in my stores. She adds. She adds. She tells you the remedy is a simple syrup of moth wing. Or you could try to working with the toad flavor and create a unique new dish. Do you go for easy solution or a daring one? Work with the toad's breath. Instead of working against the toad's breath, you've decided to use a clever mixture of exotic spices to enhance the flavor. Some patrons find it too weird for their simple pal palates, but most of your customers agree your pasta is better than ever. Who knew toad's breath could make such a delish dish? <laughs> oh my gosh. The wolf bites gain one quality and the wolf gains one reputation. No. Wolf is like so good. How do I destroy him? Let's go kick it with the West Side Porker Gang. Like destroy his freaking restaurant. The Porkers have a sweet monopoly on the local underground candy market. The secret to their success is the extra sugar, which makes their good extra potent and addictive. Since candy is cheap and high in calories, it's easy to ruin people's dinners and that means less people going to the wolf's restaurant or his stupid cooking classes. The pigs are too wealth. Too wealth. After moving several pounds of candy, the head candy cook, Eisen Pork, has called for a meeting. Gentlemen, we're doing well in the bedside of town but I'm building an empire. I would like you three to push sugar in other parts of town. What do you say? Let's sell near the wolf's bite. Maybe it scares people. And then... Because near the lake, does, I, I don't know. Neighborhood, the lake. I think the neighborhood, what? Well, it's either the neighborhood or the bites. Neighborhood, they're going to... People, people in the neighborhood is gonna consume lots of sugar and they won't go to the restaurant. So Wolf will lose the money. If we sell near the Wolf's Bite, people will be like, whoa, what the heck? Why is there like scary drug dealers? It's scary now. I don't want to go there. So that might ruin the reputation. Neighborhood was bad. <clears throat> Let's go wolf's bite. Nobody wanted to buy candy in the other part of the town. They all said it wouldn't ruin their ap appetite. You have to liquidate the inventory another way. Otherwise, you will end up in Eisenpork's pocket. Oh god, no. The pig lose two wealth and one reputation. No. It's the lake! I feel like it's a pig. I just did everything wrong. You can't run a restaurant without things to cook. A trip to the store provides you with all the ingredients you will need to cook up and enough food to feed an army. You even managed to negotiate a discount. The wool spike gains one quality. There has been rumor of the pigs putting on free cooking classes at the grocery store to motivate people to cook for themselves instead of eating at your restaurant. Perhaps you could try to have an anti-cooking class and impress store patrons with secret recipe they would never be able to recreate at home. If successful, nobody will want to eat at home again. He's going to... Paella. Oh, little as you know, the crucible fried chicken is... Chicken curry is the answer. A crowd was drawn by the small smell of freshly cooked seafood and sausage. 
Come on, come on, and try a sample of my paella. A wolf's bite exclusive. This recipe can only be found at my restaurant. Um, excuse me, sir. We can see what's in this, and all of the ingredients are sold at the store. Why will we need to come to the wolf's bite? With that, the crowd dispersed off to stock up on mussels and rice for their own home cooked paella. Wolf's bite lose one quality and lose three reputation. Let's go! Oh! Business was booming at the uh, wolf's bite. Unfortunately, the velocity of inventory and the focus on the culinary excellence left its finances in disarray. Things got so bad, the wolf was actually losing money day in and out. In and out. It turns out the wolf is better at chef than the businessman. Oh, the wolf AI actually got the same ending. A bidding war broke out over the financially vulnerable restaurant between the pigs funded by the Westside Porkers and the famed restauranteur in Giuseppe Baby Milk. The Porkers candy business early easily bankrolled the takeover. Eyes and Pork took over the operations and promptly installed Jean Gracia as head of chef and fired the wolf. Don't worry, Wolfie. The mayor has an opening for a private chef. If you teach me your crucible fired chicken curry recipe, what? But he wasn't even teaching that in the grocery store. I may even put in a good word for you, Jean remarked, trying to console the wolf. Ho ho! The AI got the same ending as I. Flex, flex, flex. 